This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have miniatures, dice, game master screens, home decorations, and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. This channel is proudly sponsored by The Red Room Publishing. Please check out their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released Uncharted Seas, a pseudo-historical game of maritime exploration in the Age of Discovery. And check out their current contest. You will find the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Knight, Libro Basico. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this dark sci-fi tabletop RPG, where King Arthur and his knights make a return, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the free territories. First we need to talk about the residue. Well it says here in Spanish because this is the Spanish version of the card book, the Sechos. The Sechos means something like garbage or residue, so I'm going to go with residue because I don't know how the official English version is going to translate this. The residue are pretty much the people that chose not to be governed by the immortals, so it is a despective or insulting term, the residue, but they have taken it as their own. They have their hideouts, their homes, their communities, known as boroughs. They fight the horror, the darkness that is taking over the world, but they also fight the forces of the immortals. Sometimes they assault convoys and take their resources. They inhabit the places between the domed cities of the immortals and the free territories. The free territories support them as much as they can, and the immortals either fight the residue or ignore them altogether. Now when it comes to the free territories, this is mostly all of the southern part of the world, including South America, South Africa, and some islands surrounding Australia, although Australia is under the control of the immortals. The free territories are in a loose coalition led by the African United Nations. They represent the last bulwark against the immortals and the horror. So it's a difficult fight. But it is here in the free territories, specifically South Africa, where the night project will be developed. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about Project Night. It's such a tense situation. When it comes to the residue, they definitely do not have it easy. They are caught in the crossfire. And when it comes to the free territories, they represent the last hope, perhaps, against the threat of the horror and the machinations of the immortals. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member or using the super thanks button. You can also check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not having a conversation about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later!